Practice 2.6. So basically for this uh, practice, we want to know what is the height of a parallelogram when we know one of the sides is a base. Okay, so now for part A. A, B is the base. So part A, A, B is a base. So this is a base. So same as triangle, so I will strongly suggest if let's say this is a base, let the base facing you. So the meaning height is how tall the parallelogram is. So which means we need to find the perpendicular distance from this line DC to this line AB. So what am I going to do here is I just use one of the point C or D but by extending the line AB so that I have enough space for the line. So you can use point D or point C, up to you. So if let's say I'm using point C because here look more space. So what am I going to do is I extend my compass. As long as I'm able to cut this line AB at two points. So here I cut one point. And then here I cut another point. So you see if there is no intersections, so what I have to do, just need to extend the line. Now what am I going to do here is, from these two points, so I make an up, and then I move over here, I make another up. So that there's a point of intersections here. Okay then, from this point C, I join to this point of intersections. So I know that this line is perpendicular to the line AB. So what does it mean here? It means that the height of this parallelogram is here. So this is the height. Now, similarly, if AD is a base, so AD is a base, so where is the height? So I will suggest return the base so, the, so that the base is facing you. Now, height means how tall the parallelogram is, so how tall. So what am I going to do is I need to find the perpendicular distance from one of this point here, B or C or any point along the line, to this AD. So what am I going to do here is, I just extend the line AD. Okay, so now if let's say now I'm choosing the point B, so I just open my compass, as long as I able to cut the line AD at two points, And then I move over here, and then I cut, then move over to the point just now, and I try to cut this up. So put at B, cut two points, then put at this two point, get this point. Okay, then I just join this point to point B. So I know that this line is perpendicular to the line AD. And where is the height of this parallelogram if AD is a base? So this will be the height. So this is how we find the height of a parallelogram when we know one of the sides is a base.